Hello there, this is Lata Brouwer and you are now watching Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to improve your violin and viola playing with joy. And today we're going to talk about being a couch potato and learning the, uh, to play the violin anyway. Maybe you recognize some of this. Do you feel like you don't have enough time to practice the violin? Well, most of the times that's a yes. I hear this from so many people that they don't have time to practice. How many hours a day? This is the next question. And a week and a month do you watch TV? Write this down. How many hours a day, week and month do you watch TV? Okay, if you've answered yes on the first question... And on the second question, you have quite uh, some hours written down. Um, then these exercises will come in very handy. Because I'm give, going to give you four exercises on the violin you can do while watching TV. So all these TV watching hours can become violin practice hours. And if you're thinking, oh, but I'm watching TV very late and then I will bother my neighbors, uh, then uh, uh, still uh, any keep watching anyway, because these exercises don't make sound. <laughs> That's very handy. So the other people around you watching the same TV show uh, can, uh, can, can watch it uh, comfortably. Well, the first um, tip is to play a piece just with your left hand and putting down your fingers so confident so you can hear them. I will uh, tell you what I mean. This is also a great exercise if you have uh, a, a, a pinky that's, uh, that isn't uh, very well trained yet. Um, so uh, try to slap your fingers, I hope you can hear it in the video, on the violin. And in this way, you can actually practice pieces, you can sort out handy fingerings, and uh, you can do all, already a part of the practice work. You can do this by heart, uh, but you can do it also with sheet music. Uh, whatever you like to do, what you can also do is that you don't play a piece, but just some scales or just uh, training uh, your, uh, your fourth finger. So it becomes strong and you will benefit from this, of course, when you are, um, you are going to practice with the bow. Um, and my second tip is you can do some bow hold uh, exercises while you are sitting on the couch, being a couch potato, watching TV. Uh, make a very nice bow hold for this. Um, and what you then do is uh, just move your pinky. Just bend it and stretch it. Never overstretch it. Okay, this is not going to help you in your violin play. If your pinky is like this, then you should definitely make it round and you will bow more smoothly. Your pinky is almost the most important finger in bowing. So really try to train it with this exercise. If you want to train your bow hold, you can also do the window wiper. I don't have much... <laughs> I don't have to, uh, enough space here in front of the camera for it. Um, but you've probably heard uh, of it. Uh, you can do some uh, bowing exercises to make your uh, uh, bowing uh, more smooth, except from this one. Uh, what you can also do is some bowing without the violin. So you put... Uh, uh, your hand in the violin position and you just bow with the whole, I hope I don't stab my violin with my bow now um, but you can just bow whole bow like this and make your fingers very smooth down bow you stretch your fingers up bow you bend your fingers so you bend your thumb and your pinky mainly so this you can do also on the couch if you don't like it with the cloth you can maybe use a toilet roll uh, you can hold it here in your hands and bow through the toilet roll or on your shoulder then it's uh, also an exercise for straight bowing um, so you're practicing several things at the same time with these uh, with these exercises 
Um, well, tip number four, uh, you can look at sheet music. <laughs> it sounds a little bit stupid, but if you uh, are learning something by heart, you can just uh, read through the sheet music while you're maybe halfly listening to uh, the <laughs> TV show. Um, And what you can also do is maybe that you can think out some fingering, maybe in combination with tip number one, that you really slap your fingers on the, on the violin. So, these were four tips for couch potatoes who would like to be a very good violinist. Um, I hope they're very helpful to you uh, and I hope with all the TV hours uh, that they will become at the same time some practice moments. Uh, well, thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. If you have any questions around violin or, or viola playing, just post them in the comments below or send an email to info at violinlounge.com. If you like this video, then click on like. Um, if you'd like to receive more top tips in your mailbox, go to violinlounge.com and subscribe to my e-zine. Um, and... Um, Well, I wish for you to find all the time you need to practice so you can express your unique beauty th uh, on the violin. Happy playing! Bye bye! Join me in the free workshop Weight vs. Pressure where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.